Okay, so anybody wanting to get into chainsaw carving or like um, a die grinder carving where you can mount it, this is a cheap uh, jaw horse. It's a wen. Um, it, you see it, it locks up and it unlocks. Okay, so this is something that I just made. And I want to show you guys I've had another one, but it has, it's too broken. Let me make sure this is on camera. Okay, so this is just a block of wood. And I put some screws through it up here. So I put this in my jaw horse. Okay, and then you lock it up. Which one's locked? I prefer the real jaw horse than this uh, knockoff one. This is kind of cheap, but it works. It gets the job done. So that's locked in place. So today I'm going to be carving a pumpkin. I know it's early, but trust me, pumpkins are big sellers. So you put your pump, you put your pumpkin on here, piece of wood on here. You see where the cracks are, so I don't want to carve the face where that crack is. Um, there's another crack there, so I'll spin it. And that's where I'm going to put my pumpkin face, okay, right there. So now I'm going to get a, my drill and some screws and screw it up and under. This is a good way because then you don't have to keep on spinning it, releasing your jaw horse, right? Now I can just carve all the way around it. So I hope that makes sense to you, and I hope uh, it, it works for you. It saves a lot of time. And this is what I'm going to be using. This is like a homeowner's saw. It's a battery saw. It's a steel MSA 140C. It's got the rechargeable batteries. When you buy this saw, it comes with the saw, a battery, and a battery charger, okay? Um, all you need to do from steel, steel only makes one style carving bar. This is 12 inch. You just need to order a steel 12 inch 043 carving bar and a chain. That's it. It already comes with the sprocket, so it's basically set up to ready to carve. Okay, so I think this is the best bang for your buck. It's light. You could use it around the yard. You know, it's, it's just a good saw to have. You'd also, with these carvings, with these pumpkins, you don't have to have a carving bar. You can do it with a real chainsaw bar on it, but just be careful of kickback for the very beginners. Like always use the bottom tip of your bar. You know, if you're gonna get in the eyes and scoop it out, never use, for the very beginners, never use this part, because that, the top part of the bar up here, because if you use this top part, it's gonna kick back and that's how it can hit you in the face. And another suggestion for the very beginning chainsaw carvers, so let's see if I can stand here. So say if I'm carving here with the saw, I never want to be in line with the chain, okay? And like, right, I always want to be off to the side. In case it does get kicked back, it goes by you, right? You don't want to get kicked back and boom, cut your face in half. I know it sounds harsh, so always just remember to put yourself off to the side. Never dead on, right? It's just a good... Good reminder to have, okay? So let me get some screws, the drill, screw this in and start carving a pumpkin. Okay, so I got a couple timber screws. You can get these at your local Rona. These are better than deck screws. And you just go up. That's it, we're locked in place. Okay. Okay, so I got everything to go, ready to go. Don't forget, um, I'm not wearing my chainsaw pants today, but don't forget your uh, safety gear, your eye protection, steel toe boots, um, ear protection, uh, gloves if you want. I don't like wearing gloves because I get a better grip when I got my hand right on the saw. It's always good to have a spare battery, so I got this battery on standby. See, it's fully charged. Okay, and uh, so with the cracks, you can turn those cracks into the pumpkins where it's like round part, you know. So what I do first is I kind of go along, I clean up the log. I get rid of all the stuff that uh, these little Brett knots thing, I clean it up. And um, then we'll round it, okay. It's been a year since I've carved a pumpkin, so bear with me.
And this is red, Western red cedar. You can do whatever you want to do, what kind of wood you want to use. Okay, so I see there's a crack here. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw this on and show you. I'm going to cut the sprout out, you know, like they have a top. So I just go like this. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see these lines. Anybody can do this. So I do a cut here, a cut here, one here, one here, and then you're left with this centerpiece, okay? So cut, 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 cut. Remove some of this wood here. Depends how high you want your centerpiece to stick out. And I'm running this basically uh, real time. So let's go bring those cuts down to here, right? So this whole piece of wood will be out, this will be out, this will be out, and you'll have your centerpiece. Okay. So then all you do is just... You know myself, I don't try and make really fancy pumpkins. I just... I just get them done. Right? So then we'll do this side. Okay. I could be doing this a lot faster if I had my gas saw, but that's not what this video is about. It's about my battery saw. Okay, now we just got to remove some of this. This, uh, this chain is on its last legs. It's at the very end, so... We'll make it like a triangle on the top of this thing here. Okay. There's your little pumpkin nub sticking out. Now, so let's round this pumpkin. All I, this is what makes it handy to have it on this piece of wood and you don't have to keep removing it from your jaw horse, right? So we'll do the bottom first.
Okay, there's our bottom round, now let's see the top. There you go, there's your pumpkin round. So now I, what I do is because you want to make it look like a jack-o-lant or whatever they're called, I make a cut here so it looks like this piece could come out. It's just something I do. You can make it like give it like a green stalk up here so it's green and it's like a thing thing. Put some lines on this. Okay. So now, there's your little stalk. The more you cut away, the bigger you can make the stalk. So there's the thing where it can, you know, pretend it pulls out. You put a light in there. So. I'm going to show you an example. For this crack, I usually do five or six things like this. So I'm going to take advantage of this crack. I'm going to make it, that's where it pushes in, okay? So we'll just go like this. And come to the other side. Okay, so there's this, there's this gray stuff on the wood because it's an old piece of wood. You can use your chainsaw carving bar for that too. Okay, so now I'm going to run around and put my other cracks in. So the face is going to be right here, okay? This guy's going to have a slender face because I can see there's a crack right here. So this will be the face. So let's do this. Okay, right, come to the other side. Oops, battery's dead. Like I said, it's good to have a spare battery. That battery only had two bars left. I'm sure I can carve the rest of this pumpkin with this battery. See what I mean? How handy that is? Another thing I need to do is check my oil. When you're running these battery saws, like when I run my gas saw, usually every time I put oil in the, I, I got a little bit in there, but I'm going to get some oil. I put oil in the, I mean, every time I fill it up with gas, I fill it up with oil. This is uh, carnola oil in here. You can use whatever you want. Lots of pro carvers use carnola oil. It's uh, thinner than normal bar oil. I just kind of use what I got. Okay. So, that's done. We got another crack here. How about I get these cracks done so you guys can see how that is, right? So there's your pumpkin thing, your pumpkin thing. I'll get these done off camera, and then we'll talk about the face. You know, when you're doing something like this, the more that you use your chainsaw, the faster it will go once you get the hang of it. Because you can round corners and it's a lot faster to do it with your chainsaw than your, like, a uh, grinder.
and I'll just kind of run around and clean up all the sharp edges. I myself don't spend much time on my on my uh, pumpkins. They're just kind of like carve them and rip them, grip them, and get them out. Okay, so now let's um, pull out the grinder, clean this up. Okay, so this is your typical uh, die grinder. This is my dust mask. It's a trend. Um, this die grinder is just a cheap one from Walmart. I buy them cheap because when it goes, I just buy a new one or take this back. This is 36 grit sanding paper on here, okay? Super aggressive. It works just as good as those wheels. Here's your back stopper flapper thing. Okay, so just go to your local hardware store. Even if you got to get the metal ones, if the wood ones aren't 36, go to the metal working department, get a 36 grit one there. So I'm just going to run around, clean it up quickly. Um, let me show you a spot here that's kind of gray. Okay, carry on. Okay, I'll finish this off. Okay, so this log was riddled in cracks before. See how I made those crack? That was that big crack. See how I made it work? So if you got crack logs around, they make great pumpkins. Little crack there. Who cares? Crack there. Who cares, man? It's. I've even cleaned this one up better than I clean up my normal pumpkins when I'm pumping them out. So now I just carve up. Now, uh. Let's draw the face on it. And I'm just going to do a real simple face. Nothing crazy. You guys know I can carve wood spirits and faces and all that stuff, but this is just going to be simple. So even though it's a pumpkin, it's always good to have your center line. Okay, so start off with the nose. Okay, we'll do a... Uh, let's see here. Eyes. You can do it any way you want to do it. You can do a round eye. You can do a round nose. It's, it's arts and experiment. It just have a good time. That's what it's about. Okay. So this guy, I'm going to do a single cut here. And I'm going to go like this. Another thing too, I'm going to say right now. Actually, I'll just wait. So when you get your, is this thing filming? When you get your eye cut out, okay. I've broken two Two tips, okay? I've broken two of these tips because you got it all cut out and you try and pop it out with this tip. It's best to get a screwdriver and pop it out. Unless you're confident. But like I said, I've already broken two tips. Okay, so I'm just going to wait to get a screwdriver to uh, pop that eye out. I don't care what anybody says. Trust me, I could carve those out, pop them out, but...
Sí, pues. Turn him a bit, give it movement. Make him bigger, smaller. There you go. So let, let me go get a screwdriver. Okay, got a screwdriver. Now you can get your chainsaw and clean up inside here if you want. I guess I will a little bit. Watch for kickback. It's safe though because your bar is locked up inside there. Okay, now you clean up the thing. Let's see if it's on screen. Use your bar again to clean up all this stuff. That's it. That's it. Okay, we'll get the torch. Pause, press pause. That is a perfect screenshot for the thumbnail. Okay, got a torch, propane. This is a turbo torch. This thing moves up and down. Sorry. Okay, so you can do down these cracks too. Burn up here. Burn this a bit if you want. Okay. I'll finish burning and then we'll clean it up. Okay, get your dust mask on. Get your grinder again.
That's about it, Ray! So there you go, everybody. That's just how easy it is, right? They're huge sellers. This is so what I'm going to do now, I wasn't going to paint it, but I'll paint it. Um, I think I'm going to give this guy some green. He's the first. That's what I'm going to do every year. At the beginning of each pumpkin year, I'm going to paint the, paint the pumpkin green so he's not ripe yet. He's a green. Maybe put a bit of orange in there. If I have green and orange paint. Okay. Got my Dr. Liz gloves on. I got some green here. I got some orange. And I got some clear coat. Haha. <laughs> Oh, everybody loves green pumpkins. Okay, we'll hit it with some clear coat. We'll hit it with a dab of orange. Okay, then I'll just paint the, I'll finish painting this off. You guys don't need to see, you can see what I'm up to. <laughs> don't forget to sign your pieces. There you go, everybody. It's the first pumpkin of the year. I might carve some more, uh, paint them green and orange too. I kind of like it, it's something different. Mix it up. You can leave them just wood color too. They're popular. Just the wood color. Make the faces however you want to make them. And you know, it's just really about having fun. That's that's the bottom line. So, uh, okay, so what am I going to do next? I'm going to carve an, an eagle on this board. But I'm not going to film. So I hope you're all good. And um, just have fun, everybody. That's what it's about. Just having a good time. Okay? Talk to you all later. Okay, I'll show you this eagle that I just finished. Um, I put one coat of, coat of clear coat varathane, super good stuff. It's going to be glossy, but I need, need to do another coat. As you can see here, it's like shiny, then dull. My buddy Ben helped me carve this uh, eagle, and I'm going to, the head, and I'm going to practice, right? This is that, uh, uh, let's see here. Where's the stuff that I used? It wasn't cheap, but I think it was pretty good. The Verathane Pro Gloss. Carbon fusion, over and out.